at the Chicago Music Exchange, obviously. And today we're demoing for you another beautiful creation from the Gibson Custom Shop. This is a 1956 Les Paul reissue in ebony, which is cool because uh, it would not have been a standard color. This would have been a gold top, obviously. But there do exist examples of custom color Les Pauls from the 50s. So this is kind of a reissue of uh, something that could have existed. And this one has a Bigsby from the factory, which I love, because I love Bigsby's. What makes this thing cool? Well, it's a historic select, so it's got true historic specs, all high glue, long neck tenon, all that great stuff, paper and oil caps, Cluson style tuners, good old two volume, two tone, three way selector switch. And then yeah, this thing's got P90s, because it's a 56, which has been the last year before they switched to the PAF humbucking pickup, which was 1957. So um, it's a very unique guitar. Because um, it's a Les Paul that has a slightly more biting single coil tone because these are obviously single coil pickups. Um, love P90s, they're a little bit, uh, you know, fatter sounding than like, you know, a lot of more traditional like a Fender style single coil. It's a very different sound. This is a beautiful example, lightly aged. It's got some neat little checking in it and, it, uh, you know, it's got a nice, nice old vintage vibe to it even though it's a brand new guitar, obviously. Big, chunky, mid-50s neck, not as big as a 58, not as uh, kind of shapely as a 59. Usually those have a little bit of a, you know, an actual shape, a little bit more of a slope to the shoulders uh, on the neck. But this is a good kind of pretty medium jumbo mid-50s neck. Um, pretty, pretty correct to the era. I've played a handful of really cool 50s gold tops, and all of them have kind of big necks, so that's right. We're playing the guitar through the Tone King Sky King, which um, has just really, really great sparkly cleans with a great spring reverb and some really ripping overdrive tones. So it's great, so you don't have to use any pedals or anything, and just go directly into the amp and kind of showcase all that this thing does. So I think it's a great match. It sounded awesome in the room here. I hope you dug it out there. <laughs> 